Mecklenburg County, including Charlotte and six towns, was one of the fastest growing urban and suburban areas in the United States in the past decade. In a county covering 526 square miles, the population grew 38% to more than 900,000 people. Our residents need places to play, facilities to help keep fit, sports for their children, activities for senior citizens, and chances to enjoy the beauty of nature. Meeting these needs is the mission of the Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation Department. Our department manages more than 18,000 acres of parks and nature preserves and more than 200 recreation facilities. Recreation plays a key role in making Mecklenburg County a great place to live. Charlotte Mecklenburg's rapid growth drove a need for more recreation land and facilities. At one point, the region was losing an average of 40 acres a day to development. That pace of urban and suburban growth changed the face and texture of our community with ever more growing asphalt and concrete. Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation has been in an intense race to save the natural environment for future generations. As part of the 2008 Master Plan, the department worked with the Trust for Public Lands and developed a green print GIS program that tailors our land acquisition to various community values. Using criteria such as tree canopy, critical watersheds, gap analysis, and partnerships, the department now prioritizes potential land acquisitions with this new cutting-edge technology. In the past five years, we added 1,700 acres to our system, including 14 new parks, 67 athletic fields, two recreation centers, 26 miles of trails, and 1,200 acres designated as nature preserves. Just to get away from noise, traffic, pollution, just to be able to recognize trees and flowers and birds, I think it's a good part of an education. So I like to do outdoor activities and this is the perfect place to do it and to bring my family and, and just to have fun outdoors. Helping people have fun is a key part of our mission. Whether it's the intensity of organized sports, a peaceful picnic in the woods, or riding a bike for exercise and relaxation. Our department maintains parks, athletic fields, tennis courts, basketball courts, picnic areas and shelters, playgrounds, a skate park, a BMX bike track, fitness centers, community gardens, even dog parks, plus hundreds of places to roam, relax, and frolic in natural surroundings. I like to see the birds, I like to see the children playing. Uh, I guess this is uh, the best uh, place in Charlotte. I like to play. The name of Park and Recreation's mascot, Ray, stands for Recreate All Year. And you can do just that with all kinds of activities in our department's 30 recreation centers. Park and Recreation has 35 miles of greenways all over the county. Great places to walk, jog, bike, skate, or walk the dog. You can even relive the past by taking a stroll on the Little Sugar Creek Greenway's Trail of History, a beautiful urban trail that features larger-than-life statues of key people who contributed to the growth and development of Mecklenburg County. Our greenways bring recreation close to home, and they keep expanding. I love that it connects to things, so I can actually ride my bike to church. Um, coming on the Greenway. It's pretty quiet, peaceful, and uh, I can get my biking time in down here with, uh, don't have to fool with traffic and worry about that all the time. <laughs> Some might call the U.S. National Whitewater Center just the opposite of quiet and peaceful. The facility, which serves as an official U.S. Olympic training site, adds a new dimension to recreation in Mecklenburg County. Its multi-channel artificial river runs 4,000 feet, powered by huge electric pumps. Water velocity can be adjusted from easy flow to the most challenging rapids for rafting, canoeing, and kayaking. Park and Recreation provided the core 288 acres for the center, which also features a zip line, rope courses, climbing wall, hiking trails, and a restaurant and gift shop through a unique public-private agreement. Total economic impact, $36 million a year. First rapids we hit, I fell over. I wasn't expecting as much, but once I realized what to do, it it was simple and fun. Second rafting was a lot more rougher than the first one, the second challenge. So. You gotta take your it was, it was awesome. Rough. It was awesome. Partnerships are a key for Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation. We partner with Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools on five recreation centers and dozens of playgrounds and athletic fields. In 2010, Blue Cross Blue Shield awarded Park and Rec a three-year grant worth $300,000 to provide more than 1,700 young people with athletic scholarships. These youth were able to participate in everything from basketball to track and field. Let's get ready to rumble! 
The new Revolution Park Sports Academy is truly a one-of-a-kind facility. It not only provides a unique venue for non-traditional sports such as boxing, wrestling, and martial arts, it also is the first LEED certified building for the department. At 30,000 square feet, the facility offers plenty of space for partners such as the Charlotte Boxing Academy, Police Athletic League, and the Charlotte Flights Track and Field Club, not to mention hundreds of enrichment programs for our youth and adults. No pop is broken. Just down the hill on a park and rec golf course, the First Tee of Charlotte opened its Golf Learning Academy in partnership with Park and Rec. The First Tee teaches golf to youngsters who might otherwise not learn the game and stresses values like responsibility, perseverance, and integrity. If you're a good person, that'll show on a golf course. If you're a person that doesn't have a whole lot of integrity, that's going to show up on a golf course. So we do the same thing with these kids. We use the golf as a segue, as a way to get to these kids and talk to them about life. Anyone can tee off at Park and Recreation's five golf courses with various degrees of difficulty and prices for golfers of all levels. Or give disc golf a whirl at our 10 courses for a new sport that's rapidly growing in popularity. Or bring the kids and splash around in Park and Recreation swimming pools, both indoors and outdoors, so you can swim year round. Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation has many places to get away from the bustle of urban life. Pitch a tent or drive a camper to the wooded campground at McDowell Nature Preserve on the banks of Lake Wiley. Or launch a boat at the department's public boat ramps on Lake Wiley or Lake Norman. We manage 21 nature preserve tracks on 6,800 acres. In the past five years, we aggressively expanded preserves around Mountain Island Lake, the source of drinking water for over one million people. Our nature preserves provide habitat for 249 species of birds, 42 mammals, and 40 reptiles. We manage 53 natural heritage sites. Last year, our environmental education programs and events served almost 50,000 participants. Our annual Hummingbird Festival and Fairy House Festival encourage families to get outside together and learn about nature. In 2009, our department won the NRPA's Barb King Environmental Stewardship Award. At Reedy Creek Nature Preserve, our department owns and operates the Center for Biodiversity Studies, housing 60,000 biological specimens assembled by biologists at UNC Charlotte. It's an important venue for research and management of plant and animal life in the Carolinas. Reedy is also home to Mecklenburg County's only natural play area. The Nature Explorer Zone was built with $50,000 in donations and grants and includes a custom birdhouse themed play structure and interactive areas for balancing, building, and dramatic play. At Latta Plantation Nature Preserve, you can rent a horse and join a trail ride at the Equestrian Center or rent a Segway for a guided tour around Buzzard Rock and Latta Plantation House. Our department's logo notes Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation, the natural place to be. Looking to experience the rich diversity of the Charlotte region? Well then head on over to one of our many yearly festivals. Experience Asian cultures or even get a team together and compete in the dragon boat races at the annual Asian festival. Or experience the Latino or Scottish cultures at the Latino Fest or Loch Norman Highland Games. If your little one likes to run, swim, and bike, sign them up for Rodney's Great Kids Triathlon. <coughs> Let your dog take you to Bark in the Park, a special festival for our furry friends and the people they own. Our community events and festivals offer something for everyone. Oh, take the high rim out. For thousands of youngsters, teens, and adults, Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation offers a wide variety of sports and leagues, plus wildlife education, arts and crafts, and many other activities. And I have a uh cheerleading, hip-hop dance, and karate. To the gym, please. No rest. Aaron. We serve all residents, especially those with special needs. Our therapeutic recreation section offers after-school programs, summer day camps, socials, and holiday events for people with disabilities, children, and adults. Therapeutic recreation, also known as TR, has eight staff members and a manager. Its Paralympic Sports Club presents adaptive sports, including our highly successful Challenger football program, developed in cooperation with the NFL's Carolina Panthers. 2,000 volunteers helped TR build Race Place, a special playground for children with disabilities. It reflects a NASCAR theme with a special bit of architectural whimsy. Last year, TR achieved more than 11,000 contacts with persons who have disabilities, and parents are big supporters. I would definitely recommend it for anybody who's looking for some place for their children to fit in, for their children to have fun, and to join a community. Volunteers don't just help TR. In 2010, more than 16,000 residents donated their time and energy to help the department serve the community at the highest level possible. 
Volunteers did everything from answering phones at rec centers to helping with beautification projects at various parks. Senior citizens are another focus. We organize and host the Senior Games, a wide variety of senior athletic, fitness, and wellness programs, seminars, classes, and even summer camps for seniors. The department makes programming for at-risk youth the top priority. In 2010, we served nearly 80,000 youth defined as at-risk through nationally award-winning gang prevention programs such as McTeen Chefs, Survivor Copperhead Island, the McClintock Outdoor Club, and Teen Summits. These programs partner with several organizations in the community to provide positive alternative activities, developing lifelong skills, and focus on personal growth. I think we're ready to vote on the budget ordinance. Our park and rec budget and policies are approved by nine elected county commissioners, but much of what we do is the result of citizen involvement. Our park and rec commission has 13 members, supported by several advisory councils who advise on programs and policies. Partners for Parks, a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization, collaborates with the community to promote and enhance parks and greenways and recreation throughout Mecklenburg County. In 2008, Voters Help Park and Rec realized the first goal in our new 10 year master plan by passing a $250 million park and rec bond. The strategic plan calls for more than $1.4 billion for new and expanded parks and recreation facilities in the coming decade, 103 new miles of greenways, and 3,700 acres of additional nature preserves. You can check out all kinds of things going on at Park and Rec at our website, parkandrec.com, or check our quarterly online program catalog, Get Going Guide, for the latest on all facilities and programs, with directions on how to... We hope to see you at Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation real soon.